Another promising adaptation of video games into board games. Today we're going to be doing the unboxing of the Sea of Thieves Voyage of Legends. We're going to be doing a deep dive into all the components like the board, the cards, the tokens and everything else. Hi, I'm Nick from Tabletop Duo. And before we start the unboxing, I would like to give a big thanks to Steamforged Games who sent us this review copy. So thank you guys so much. And without further ado, let's start the unboxing. And here it is. Sea of Thieves Voyage of Legends. So let's start by removing the shrink wrap. On the front cover we have a concept art of pirates attacking a ship and in the back we get a summary of the game and the game components. Alright, so let's open it up. First we get the pamphlet which showcases how to set up your first game. Then we get the rule book, really nice cover. Looks like you are opening like a pirate's logbook or something. After that, we have the punch boards. We have four punch boards. Those are the player scoop standees, player brigantine standees, and player galleon standees. Gold tokens of different value, treasure chests, An assortment of skeleton tokens, including captain tokens, like this one. Lots and lots of damage tokens, progress tokens, kraken tentacles, and water level tokens. Skeleton sloop and galleon, the megalodon, and the kraken standees. Action tokens, and the crew, and special crew tokens. Reputation tokens, resource tokens, and mermaid gem. And then we get the outpost board. You have all the outposts and islands in the game. Looks exactly like when I played the game. Right after that, we have the game board C tiles. There are a total of six of them. They have locations in the sea and also on specific islands. There you go. And here we have the central board. The outpost, shipwreck bay and so on. Then we have the insert cover and the other components below. Here we get two token bags. The standees, a bag of dice, just regular dice, a bunch of plastic bags for the tokens, our first pack of cards, kind of an unusual size, let's open it up, skeleton fort, skeleton ship, the kraken, megalodon, the scoop and the brigantine ship cards and the nice reference rules card i like that look have everything here and on the other side you get the actions the tasks and the action types i really like the overall art on these cards it looks like exactly the game art it's beautiful then we have other three packs of cards let's start with this one Legendary Voyage cards, Meager Voyage cards, and Valuable Voyage cards. Now into the second pack of cards. Fortune cards. And finally, let's see what comes in the last pack of cards. And these are Event cards and Special Crew cards. And for the insert, it looks really nice. You can see the there is like several compartments for each component, but I don't think if you are, if you sleeve cards, I don't think they will fit because it's, it's very tight without the, the sleeves. First, I would like to talk about the overall quality of the components. I really like what I see. The boards look really nice. The quality of the paper, also the box looks really sturdy, has an amazing artwork for both the board, the cards, and also the box. 
I also like the insert because all the components fit really well inside. It's very sturdy and um, you don't have to worry too much about um, the, the components like not fitting the box and the box being a little bit swelled because of the amount of components once you, you punch out all the boards and everything. I can't wait to try out the game and then I'm gonna be coming up with a review for you guys so stay tuned. Thanks a lot for being here with us and please consider subscribing and giving a like to the video if you liked because that will help the channel and the video reaching more people. Thanks for watching and see you next time. Bye.